Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the baseline widget. So if we look at what we've got here, we've got three text widgets and we've got a big one. Then we just two, we've got two regular ones. This word in the middle that says, wow, that is a separate text widget. And that's what we're going to apply the baseline widget to. And so what the baseline widget basically does, it actually, I'll just show you. It'll be very easy to show you. And to create one, put new baseline and we do need to apply this stuff um, i'll do that in a moment so if i say so yeah, i need a comma here and now i can put a child put this in it there are two required parameters and it is baseline so if we just put no for now and if we put baseline type and we put no for now save it and see what we get. So we get errors because we actually need base lines. And this base line, I'm gonna put zero for now. This has to be a double. And if it's an integer, you'll just convert it. The baseline type has to be one of these. I just recommend the alphabetic one. I'll save it. As you can see, the difference is it's moved to the top of the, you know, the actual overall row. So the row's height is determined by the largest so to confirm the largest widget inside of it, which happened to this, which happened to be this big pink hello will. If I was to put a number here like 100, for example, let's see what we get. So it basically moves it down 100 logical pixels from the baseline, which is the top of that parent container. And what's great is you can you can move it down even further. So this is great for positioning individual items you know, relative to the baseline compared to padding, which is relative to its current position. The other great thing is that you can actually put a minus value. So if you want it a slightly higher, so maybe you wanted, so imagine this, if I put this as a two, and I think 20 will probably look pretty good. Actually, no, a little bit lower, a 10. As you can see, it almost looks like it's saying hello world squared so that's a great way of being able to position items and essentially get a format which you otherwise wouldn't be able to use in regular text so that's it for the baseline constructor what i will do is provide you with a link so you can see the different you know baseline i mean the baseline types but really this is all you need to know if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.